There are four primary tests we use with our range of motion clients and those following their range of motion individualized programming, our online clients, to test work capacity. And we're able to define work capacity as the ability to uh, both deliver fuel and energy to the muscles and remove waste from the muscles to ensure that we're able to maintain a high rate of muscle contraction over varying periods of time. Now the first two tests are are both an adaptation that we have made to a standard Wingate test, which is normally a 30 second test, but we have brought this down to a 20 second test. It is 20 seconds max effort on the air bike. And this tests multiple things. In fact, we have two tests, which we're able to take away from this 20 second sprint. So the first of these two tests is establishing peak wattage, the maximum wattage, which is achieved at any point during this 20 seconds. And this tests three different things. It tests the ATP phosphocreatine energy system, it measures peak power output, and it gives us an anaerobic alactic work index. Now our second test is completed at the same time, and this is average wattage over the same 20 second air bike sprint. Now this average wattage tests our anaerobic and glycolytic capacity, it tests our average power output, and also our lactic work index. Our third test is also completed on the air bike. And just a note on why we do so much of our testing on the air bike. Specific testing is, as it implies, very specific to the movement being performed. So someone's capacity to perform on a rower, for example, may not match their capacity to be a good runner or good on the ski erg or on the air bike or at swimming because each of these has their own skill base to it and each has a different muscle recruitment pattern. The thing we like about using the air bike for so many of our tests is that it really is a full body test. It does test both your pressing and pulling ability through the upper body and there is a huge lower body component as well. So what is our third test? This is a 60 second test on the air bike this 60 second test for as many meters as possible. We're not looking at calories or wattage here, we are looking at total distance covered. And there are three things that we can test as a result of this test. The first is our anaerobic lactic capacity. Our second is anaerobic glycolysis. And finally, the individual's anaerobic threshold. Our final test for work capacity is our aerobic multimodal test. And this test now starts to test a much longer time domain at 20 minutes. And this test looks like in 20 minutes, complete as many meters as possible, where you will run 200 meters, then row 250 meters, 600 meters on the air bike, and finally 250 meters on the ski erg. And this is measured for total meters completed over the entire 20 minutes. Now this tests two primary things. It tests our aerobic capacity and our aerobic and lactate thresholds. Now it's important on a test like this that we are using different types of movements. Effectively what we're doing is shunting the blood around our body, which increases the cardiovascular and cardiorespiratory loads. And of course that is what we're trying to test. So during that initial run, which is very much a lower body dominant movement in an upright position, a lot of the blood is shunted to our lower body. As we then go onto, onto the row next, you can see this is a bit more upper body and posterior chain dominant. We then go onto the bike, which is primarily back to the lower body, and then bringing the upper body in a little bit more on that ski. And of course, the ski and the row that has been completed two exercises before that, because they're very different movements in terms of their action at the hip, the row being hip extension, the ski being hip flexion, we're again able to shunt blood to different parts of the body. So these are our four work capacity tests, and we find they provide a great overview of the ability of that individual to perform over varying time domains, testing a whole range of different energy systems in the body.